Day number six, picnic table talk. Fans are starting to make their way in today. We got a hot and sticky one, expecting a little bit of rain possibly in the next 30 or 40 minutes or so. Um, yesterday was very, very hot back here. Backyard really didn't fill up too much, but we got a nice day today. Nice stakes race coming in race number nine with the Rick Violet, uh, New York Breads on the inner turf course going one and one sixteenth of a mile. Uh, one and one sixteenth of a mile. Um, my guest today, Kevin Strom. How's it going, Kevin? Great. How cool is it that we can talk about a feature race every day here during the week? I mean, that's the beauty of Saratoga. Yeah, there's no low-level maiden claimers, no low-level claimers that just fill up the card. We have quality racing all meet long. Super exciting for the fans. Super exciting for the handicappers. I'm ready to get into it. What would you think of uh, the scratches today? Our late pick five scratched down to an average field size of 6.8. Not necessarily loving that, but hey, what can you do? Yeah, I, I understand, you know, the trainers with this heat and humidity out here, they want to take every precaution. Um, so I understand it from a wagering standpoint, it kind of stinks a little bit. You know, prices that you thought were going to be prices are going to get crushed a little bit. Favorites maybe scratched out. You know, Icarus scratching in race three. That's a big one for me today. Uh, but, you know, you, you live and let live. You got to roll with the punches. So let's see what we got. So we're going to start off here with the stakes race of the day. Race number nine, the Rick Violet Stakes. One and one sixteenth a mile. New York three-year-olds going on that inner turf course. Um, interesting little race here. We spoke with... Uh, trainer Danny Gargan on Saratoga Morning Report this morning. He spoke about his favorite in the race, Dakota Gold. What would you think of that horse? So Dakota Gold is four to five on the morning line. Very deserving favorite. So the way I saw this race panning out was, you know, Dakota Gold is going to be very tough to beat. Um, you're going to get a very short price. Uh, the horses run extremely well without LASIK. This is, a, this is a race where the horses will be without LASIK. So when you're handicapping a race like this, you need to take that into consideration how horses have run both on and off LASIK. This race, they will not be allowed to use LASIK. Uh, Dakota Goat has never used LASIK, so that's not a concern. Um, I end up, you know, on a little bit of a price this race. I like the five Timbuk two. Uh, broke its maiden off LASIK. Uh, Manny's been up the last two, has closed fairly well. However, those races have been on LASIK, so keep that in mind. Um, this might just be one of those cases where you just take the free square and Dakota Gold, but me being a gambler and a handicapper, I can't accept that. Uh, so I'm going to go with Timbuk2 as my selection for this race. Hopefully we get a little bit of a price. Um, you know, Dakota Gold being so short and these three-year-olds improving, you never know who's going to make that next step and, and make that next jump. And I think for this race, uh, the five with Manny up closed fairly well. Uh, we'll see what he has to offer today. So my choice in the in the feature race today is going to be the five Timbuk2. Uh, if you needed to play vertically, I would do a four over five exacta. So the favorite Dakota Gold over Timbuk2. Look for, you know, hopefully 10 to one at least on that in the problem. Um, I'm pretty much the same as you. Um, I, I think that Dakota Gold can be really tough to beat here. I don't necessarily think I'm going to play against. I'm going to use this free square. Um, I'm going to be looking to play a daily double into the horse, though. Um, I really like a horse in their previous race, race number eight, uh, going one and one eighth on the dirt course. You know, we don't see that that distance too much when they start that starting gate this early in the meet. Um, good three-year-old New York race. Uh, there's a horse in there I really like, Stimulus Check. I think that this this track is playing pretty far forward right now. Um, especially on those routes, on the on the sprints, we've seen people be able to close from the middle of the track. Uh, it's definitely been the, the opportunity where it's been shorter. We interviewed <coughs> um, Flavian Pratt yesterday, and he was very vocal about middle of the track is sort of the place you want to be. So I'm going to try to look play a daily double into Dakota Gold here, using that five horse in the race number eight stimulus track, hoping to get out in front and keep on wiring all the way around. This is your sixth edition of Picnic Table Talk. We'll be here every single day of the Saratoga meet. Good luck with your wages.